Hey everyone, welcome back to Box It has been a while since our last video, and I'm super excited to be back with you all. Today we are diving into a fun and useful topic: creating a custom toast alert in React Native. Toast alerts are great for showing quick messages to your users and making a custom one gives you a lot of flexibility. So let's get started. Here we have our environment setup. We have two files here, app.js, the main launching file and the toast.js, it's a component for the toast alerts. So if you are not familiar with how to create a React Native application, you can follow along another video tutorial. The link will be popping on the right corner of your screens. Firstly, uh, we will be designing our toast alert. So for that, we will go into the toast.js file and here we will des be designing uh, this toast alert. We will create a view and inside the view, we will just have two text blocks for the title and the detail of the alert message so here on the right side we will be having a tick mark success tick mark uh, icon for that for that we will just copy an emoji for the check mark and we'll use that for now later you can replace it with icon from the font awesome library or any other library so we will just place it here you can see that has been displayed on the right side of our preview window now we will give it a style of styles dot container. We will create this right here. Container. We will give it a flex direction of row. and background color you can give it any background color or any style you want you will give a, it a adding horizontal of 20 adding vertical of 10 and a Position of absolute. Position of absolute, and from bottom we will be will display it twenty pixel from the bottom, and now we will just style these text elements. We will create a nice color and font size of 25. We will give it a margin left of well for this text we do it font weight of bold color white and for this one for the description we will give font size of 15 and a color of white so here we have designed our custom 
post dialog message now the next step is to animate this toast a message so that when we click on this button this toast message will be launched and after that it will disappear after a certain amount of time so for that we will be using the animated library from the react native we will not be using any third party libraries we will just design it from scratch using the native animated library for that we will just import our animated library and we will create two animated variables which will hold the reactive value of our animate animated animations and the first one uh, will be for the sliding up for that we will create a bottom variable because we will have to just uh, trans translate it from the bottom to the top so that we will have we will have a sliding up animation and for that we will create a ref variable and inside of the ref we will have this animated part. since the starting point is this 20 so we will place 20 here starting value at the bottom and the second variable will be for the opacity because after launching the uh, toast message it will disappear uh, it will disappear after a certain amount of time gradually so we will be just animating the opacity of this element for that we have to make opacity variable same use use ref and the starting value will be 1 for it because the starting value of the opacity will be 100 percent that is translated as 1 in the opacity so we will do like this so the next step will be to cover this view in the animated view because to make the animations we should use the uh, view or the element from this animated library otherwise the animations will not happen so like this we will close it in the native view okay. then we will just and close we will add up these two animated values in the styles so bottom and the opacity the next step is to just create a function for the animation and inside of it firstly we will write an animation to just slide this model up slide this toast alert up for that here comes a function from this library called timing in this timing the first argument which is take which it takes is this variable which we have to animate so and the second it take and the second argument it takes is an object for the configuration and after that we will have to write this starter so inside of this there is an option to value it is the value to which we are going to animate this uh, post alert so we will be just animating it to this 20 because we will be, because the starting point will be this 20 where this model will be visible and we will be sliding it from the bottom so we will just have a bottom value of minus 80 so we will and the second thing is the duration and how much amount of time will this animation be complete will queue it as a one second and we will just queue a native driver of false because this bottom this 
absolute position animation is not supported by the native driver so we will have to just keep it as false now we will just save this so the right now you will be seeing that the model is not visible because it is beneath the screen by 80 pixels and when we just click this button this should slide up from this eight, minus 80 position to 20 position and it will be just visible so this is the first set of animation that we have made the next step is to just conditionally render it on the app.js and set this dot use state and initial value will be false for it and then we will just conditionally render this toast alert And we we'll also pass this state uh, state method so to update the state value from inside of this toast component. So for that we will pass this set toast method inside of it. And on the button click we will have to launch this uh, toast alert. So we'll uh, just place this function right here. Toast true. Now this uh, toast variable is toast uh, uh, component is conditionally rendering in the app component and now the next step is to just call this animate function in the use effect of it so that whenever this component is called this animation will occur. like this so when we just see in the preview window when we click on the show toast you can see that the success toast message or the success toast alert is launching successfully now what we are going to do is that since the toast alerts disappears itself after some certain amount of time so the next step will be to just disappear this toast after certain amount of time so that it behaves as a traditional toast alert so for that we will go into this start method this uh, uh, start method takes a callback function so whenever this uh, slide up animation will uh, be complete we can launch another set of actions so after this set of uh, slide up function is complete we will be just animating our opacity uh, to disappear this model for that we will create another timing function from the animated and right and uh, now we will just animate the opacity so we will be just animating it to, till the zero value of for the opacity the duration we will do it as 700 milliseconds and for this also we will using use native trial as false this opacity animation will only just uh, animate the opacity of the element but the element is still present somewhere in the bottom of the window and it's not completely out of the screen or out of the component to make it disappear what we will do is uh, we will use the set toast state variable and after this opacity animation is complete we will just disappear it out of the component by calling this set toast and giving it false so now you can see that when we click on the toast alert the success toast message is locked and launched and it disappears after a certain amount of time like this like a traditional toast alert message if you want to see the code 
and all the working files and all the working example I will be sharing uh, with you this uh, snack URL in the description uh, box of the vi video so that you can follow along nicely so here in this snack it ha it comes with an advantage as you can have a preview window right in the screen and you can see that you can just launch it like this so I will be sharing this URL in the description box so that uh, it will help you in uh, designing your own uh, toast alert so here you have it we have successfully created a custom toast alert in react native I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more react native tutorials it's great to be back and I will bring you more content soon. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and notify and to get notified whenever I post a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.